Welcome to the show. Woo-hoo. Awesome. I'm so excited. I've always seen so many great episodes of Servings and was like, how do I get on that show? Yes. This is Tiffany Stewart Stanley with Keep Douglas County Beautiful. Welcome to the show again. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you for having Thank me. You. I'm so excited to be here. Yes. And have you seen the show before? Yes. Okay. Yes. I love it. Okay. I love seeing all those as interesting people with interesting topics, with interesting yeah. food. Exactly. And that's <laughs> what we're getting to right now. We're going to learn about Keep Douglas County Beautiful in just a little bit. But right now, as you know, I'm going to reveal the ingredients to you. They're cloaked under the beach towel of deception, as we call it. I like it. So you're gonna try to guess what we're cooking. Okay. You ready for this? Yes. All right, here we go. And I'll give you a hint, too. Here's your hint. You're never going to guess what we're cooking. (laughs) I know. So the pressure's off, the pressure's off. Yeah, because I don't even know what that is, (laughs) so. Those are garbanzo beans. Oh, yeah, okay. (laughs) So now you know, right? (laughs) Yes, I know exactly what this is, and I know that that is sea salt. Yep. I think that's parsley. Yes. And I see lemons, onions, I like almond milk. There you go. I just, I don't know. I can't, I I don't even. What do you think about chocolate syrup and sugar? So we're going to have beans with sugar and syrup exactly and parsley you nailed it that is it but there's also another ingredient that i oh. couldn't put out okay all right so this will right. this will sort of give it away possibly i was worried i was worried muddy ice cubes just kidding oh <laughs> this is coffee oh okay coffee ice cubes Okay. So what we're doing All right. is we're going to do uh, in recipes that I've never done before. Okay. okay, this should be interesting. We're going to do falafel. Do you even know what falafel is? It sounds Greek. It is. It's it's kind of Middle Eastern. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so the main the main ingredient for where did I uh, go to school? <laughs> the main ingredient for falafel is garbanzo beans. Okay. So what you do is you make sort of like a dough. Okay. And you make uh, balls out of it and you fry them. Okay. So you're frying. I okay. Mean, come on. Okay. And then we're going to make a mock frappe. Okay. Like you would get at McDonald's. So what I've done is I made coffee, let okay. it cool, and then froze it in uh, ice cubes. So that's okay. what we're going to use as the base. I, I mean, this is something more than I have ever thought about making. So, <laughs> Me too. This so is going to be an experiment. I, I just love the fact that you put all this together. Well, hey, why I not? Just, I Might just as well go big. I, I'm just excited because I thought we were just going to make like a little dip or something. But hey, <laughs> not here we, in Starbucks. But we will be making a dip for the falafel. So there you go. You guessed one. Oh my goodness. Okay, you guessed I get one. a point. I get a point. <laughs> one point. All right then. So where do we start? I'm excited. What we're going to do is we're going to reset. We're going to come back. We're going to start the first recipe, which will be the falafel because we'll need to put it in the in the refrigerator for a little bit okay and then we'll make the frappe okay and we'll drink some of that while we're waiting yes, on the falafel frappe. yes so when we come back we're going to get this started we're going to talk all about keep douglas county beautiful can't wait now we got a lot going on here we do all right but it's actually a pretty simple and easy recipe. Okay. We're going to be combining a lot of stuff in the food processor, chop it up until it's like the consistency of a dough. Okay. We're gonna refrigerate it. Okay. And then we will shape small balls out of it and fry them. Okay. It's it's relatively easy. There's just a lot of small ingredients. All right, I'm I'm ready. At the beginning here, I'm going to do the hard work. I'm going to chop up some onion and some parsley. Okay. And while I'm doing that... What am I going to do? I want you to talk about Keep Douglas County Beautiful. All right. Okay, so (laughs) you're getting out of some work right here at the beginning. So tell us uh, kind of the history. When did it start? How did it get started? So, well, I'll tell you a little bit. So Keep America Beautiful is a um, nationwide, or actually international now, program that assists uh, governments, local governments, communities with keeping their counties and cities and 
communities beautiful, clean, sustainable. Mm -hmm. And Keep America Beautiful has actually been around for 65 years. It's actually the 65th anniversary. It's actually a, a pretty recognizable it name. It is. Probably. I think everybody can recognize the Keep America Beautiful brand. And I think that's one of the things that made it so attractive to Douglas County when Chairman Jones um, wanted to do a beautification program for the county. She asked me to uh, come up with the program. And so I, the first thing I said, well, we have to be a Keep America Beautiful affiliate because most places are. Right. So I looked up, and we weren't. Um, Keep Douglasville Beautiful, which is a really great and successful program, has been around for about 16 years, but they only really are allowed to use their resources within the city limits. Mm -hmm. So right. that's of the 200 square miles of Douglas County, that's only about 29 square miles. So you have about another 179 square miles that no one was kind of you know, being that beautification force right. for, and about 110,000 of the 140,000 people in Douglas County lived in unincorporated areas. So there was a big, big area not really being serviced. Mm -hmm. um, of course, everybody could go to their events and, and things like that, but when it came to actually putting resources into those areas, just because they're the city limits, they weren't, you know, allowed to. Right. Um, so. We looked at the process, we contacted Keep America Beautiful and also Keep Georgia Beautiful, which is our statewide affiliate, so we kind of go through them. Okay. And we set up meetings with them and, um, you know, we talked about being an affiliate. We did not realize the process was so long. <laughs> <laughs> um, we started looking into this possibly around, let's say June of 2017. And we actually sent our official letter requesting um, permission to get an application to become an affiliate around July of 2017. Uh -huh. And we were fortunate enough to be able to meet with the um, executive director of Keep Georgia Beautiful and, and kind of come up with a plan as how we would service the area, right. um, how we would make sure that we would be working well with Keep Douglasville Beautiful. Mm -hmm. And uh, we came up with our plan and then we started along the process. So it started off with Keep America Beautiful sending down a um, trainer. And mm -hmm. that trainer talked to elected officials, they talked to people who were interested in you know, becoming a part of Keep America Beautiful and gave us just a, this long list of things that we had to do in order to even be considered an affiliate. Right. So we had to do things like do research to find out what areas in the county really needed the most help. Mm -hmm. We had to do um, just really just take stock of what was going on in Douglas County, what were our resources for recycling and things like that. Mm -hmm. We had to put together a committee of people who were interested in doing that. So that process took about six or seven months mm -hmm. um, to do that. And once we got all the information together for Keep America Beautiful, um, at that point we were allowed to go ahead and actually apply for the affiliate status. We were granted that status and then they came back in April of 2018 and did our final training and presented us with our affiliate certificate. Mm -hmm. So it took us a little bit over a year, which was actually, according to them, was record time, which I was very proud <laughs> of. Um, it was record time because usually it takes people sometimes two or three years to right. get these affiliations. So it was really a great honor and a testament to the people that work with me on how fast we could get the affiliate status. Mm -hmm. And uh, we filmed the kickoff party. We had. Uh, the 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 um, I guess it was Georgia. Yes, keep Georgia, keep beautiful, Georgia beautiful and keep America beautiful. Yes, coming in, and so we were excited about that. And we have a wonderful logo designed by this really talented uh, graphic designer that was really just like the thing that kind of just gave us, you know, a vision for what keep Douglas County beautiful was and, and is. And we we use that logo to to, to this day. And so it's really just been a really great process. When I was first assigned this, I'm gonna be honest with you, I was just like, what? Like, <laughs> <laughs> okay. But I have to be honest, it has really been the most rewarding thing that I've done really? at this county. It really has to see people in the county really, I mean, I've ha I have so many people contacting me on a daily basis about how they can get involved. They want to volunteer. And just to see the small things that we've done in almost the past, I say almost year, mm -hmm. uh, going into schools, um, teaching people about recycling, um, just have giving away batteries to people, non-volt batteries, so their their smoke detectors and things can work. It's really made a big impact, and the community has really jumped on board with that. Mm -hmm. I have been very just impressed about the the yearning for knowledge, the yearning of people who really want to get out there and say, "Hey, I want to do a cleanup in my community," right. and the people who feel the need to report 
everything <laughs> to keep <laughs> Douglas County that beautiful. Needs to be done. Yes, we have a lot of people that go on the Facebook page and, and give messages about what needs to be cleaned up or suggestions. They call right. us. So it's really just been a great resource for the county, and I'm actually very proud to be a part of it. Like I have to say it's probably one of the best things I do. That's great. And we'll talk a little more about the events that you guys do yes. and how people can get involved. Yes. How they can get in contact uh, a little bit later. Yes. We're going to finish up this recipe. We're ready to start combining ingredients. I'm impressed. Like, when did you do that? <laughs> because I, like, I just looked down and I was like, there's yeah. some chopped onions and parsley. So you work, you work fast. Yeah. Magical, magical. Yeah. All right. So if you'll hand me the garbanzo beans. These were soaked overnight and then rinsed. Oh, in water? Yes. Oh, okay. So they're nice and clean. Okay. And they were just regular dried beans, so they're uh, ready to be incorporated. So um, can you just get that at any store? Because you like can. you just go to a store and say, hey, I want some garbanzo. In the, in the, in the bean them. section, you okay. just go to the dried bean section. Oh, and you just pick up a bag. <laughs> right. Or you can get uh, canned garbanzos. Now, they, oh, they okay. recommend not using canned yeah. for this particular recipe. But like if you're making a salad or something like that, okay. canned is fine. Cool. So we're going to add right. in the parsley and the onion. Okay. And now we're going to add some seasoning because that's really the, the heart of this recipe. That's my favorite part. All right. So I'm going to let you do this. This is coriander. So okay. I'm going to get you to add, let's see. How much see. am I supposed to? We need a half a teaspoon. Cor I have never heard. You were just like <laughs> schooling me today. because you, have... you can actually uh, unscrew oh, yeah, that's and probably put, better. put the whole thing, dip the uh, this inside oh, yeah. of there. Yep. Wow. TJ, I promise you. And then just a nice level. You're missing your spoonful of that. That is a half a teaspoon. What do we think? Too much? Uh, a little too much. These are very strong spices. So when they say, you know, a half a teaspoon, oh. that's usually what you want to get. That's perfect. Okay. So you can throw that in there. So I'm from Mississippi. You just like pour, you just sprinkle to <laughs> you dab just like of this and a Yeah, dab you're of just that. like, okay, I think that's enough. Yep. All right, so we got cumin here and we're I gonna add a whole teaspoon so that's a half we'll so do two of two. those put that in there and you'll start to smell everything start to smell really mm, good it does smell good oh there that's go. that cool i might just buy some of this to just like yeah that's that's that mexican mm, taco yes. smell that's okay that's yep. where i was wondering yeah like i smell when you open the taco packages and you sprinkle the sauce we have cayenne pepper i'm now, very familiar with cayenne pepper. we want an eighth of a teaspoon Yes. Now we have a half teaspoon here. So we got. So it. you're just gonna get a little. So we just a little bit like, of yeah. there. And we can we can we don't have to be perfect with it. it this is fine. Well, so we can throw that in there. That's perfect. That'll add just a little bit of a, a kick I to am it. Very used to this. And spice. then the last spice we're gonna put in, other than salt and pepper, is cardamom. Have you ever heard of cardamom? No. It's like what? Did, okay. It's very Middle Eastern. Take a smell of that. Oh, no. It smells a little it's, limey. But it, it does. It actually it has a, it's, it hits you, but it has a, like a fresh smell. Yeah, like a fresh Like, I want to bathe in that. Yeah. <laughs> Where do I get I'm that serious. from? You could like, probably yeah, put it in soap. You know what? We, we could, like, make some money. Yeah. But, yeah. <laughs> a new seasoning. A new seasoning. Okay, how All much All right, we're going to add, it says a pinch of cardamom. So oh. just add about as much of that as you did the cayenne. Okay. Because it's a pretty strong I, seasoning. More, I think. Uh, that's a pinch. Yeah, because. And they say a pinch. Yeah, I've you don't learned. want to go overboard with mm -hmm. it. If and like I said, these are pretty strong ingredients. And then I'm going to add a little bit of salt. Oh, I love that. Take charge. And we can grind a little bit of pepper in there. All right, this is the pepper. I'm yes. assuming. That is it. So I just yeah, I turn the. Oh. You go. Here we go. I never use that kind. I just get the regular kind. My oh, husband come on. like. You you've been to the fancy restaurants and they like grind have, the pepper. I have, but I'm not a big pepper person. So my husband he loves grinding pepper. All right, we've got a tablespoon. Okay. We're gonna do three quarters of a ta tablespoon. So not a quite a full okay. one. Um, oh, so it has its own. This is garbanzo flour. I know. I'm like, that's interesting that it has its own. Hold on, that may be a little. You can do. You can do regular flour. Mm -mm, we should do this. Yeah, one. Yeah, but but we we found the garbanzo flour, so we went with it. How do you think? Too much? Too little? Uh, add, go ahead and add that, and we'll just add just a little bit more. Okay. A little more is okay because the flour is sort of gonna help it hold together like a dough. Okay. All right. So that's all our ingredients. 
Have you ever had this before? I have. Oh, okay, good. Yeah. So I have never made it, but I have okay. eaten it. Okay, and so it's we very know. good. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna turn this on, and it's gonna get a little loud. We don't want to over process it right. because it'll turn into something more like hummus. Yeah. Have you had hummus before? I have. Do you know what the base of that is? No. Yes. Garbanzo, Garbanzo beans. Well, I wish if I had known that, I would have been much more excited at the <laughs> beginning. <laughs> so now you know that you've had garbanzo yes, beans before. Yes, I love hummus. Well, this is going to taste a, a little bit like hummus. Fried hummus. Oh, we're going to fry it. Yeah, you can't go wrong when you fry. Okay. All right, so this is looking pretty good. We can go a little bit more on that. All right. We're almost ready. I'm excited. Okay. That is tahini sauce or paste or oil. Okay. And we're going to be using that for our dipping sauce. Oh. Tahini is made from sesame seeds. Okay. It's very good. All right, so what you want to do is make this have the consistency of dough. Okay. And I'm sure you've you've baked bread all the time, right? Out of a Pillsbury <laughs> can, yes. I bake bread. <laughs> so what you want to do is take some of it and okay. kind of push it together. Oh, I want to do and that. see see the consistency. Okay. Yeah. It holds together pretty okay, well. Okay. So then we know that's we're doing what well. we want. Okay. And it will hold better hold together even better if we put it in the refrigerator for one or two hours. Yes, okay. So, what we're gonna do is, I got a bowl over here that we're gonna pour this into. Yeah. Pull that out of there. And scrape the bowl. That smells delicious. Yeah, it does. All right, and then the recipe says to um, kind of fluff it with a fork okay. and break up some of the lumps. So I will let you do that. All right, I love it. I'm cooking. <laughs> I should send a picture to my husband. There you go. He I would mean, never we'll, believe this. We'll just send him the video. <laughs> right, he'd be like, see, I do cook. <laughs> we didn't even just stage it. Right. All right, I'm breaking it up. Yep, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna cover this with saran wrap. Okay. Get it in the refrigerator and uh, let it sit for about one to two hours. Okay. While we're waiting, we're gonna start the second recipe, which is our mock frappe. All right, well so that's super cool. We will be right back and we're gonna get our drink on. All right, so the reason why I froze the coffee okay. is because typically when people do a frozen or cold coffee right. drink, they will make a pot of coffee, they might let it cool off, okay, and then they'll pour it over regular ice, ah. and that waters it down. So you got smart. So the recipe says make the coffee, let it cool, put it in ice cube trays, okay. and then use that. Wow. So we have a nice ninja uh, blender here. We're going to use that to chop everything up. Okay. And uh, so what we need to do is add about two cups of our ice cubes, which is going to wind up being about probably a lot of the tray is what, what I'm going to add. Okay. Um, so let me break this up All right. a little bit. And... The easiest way to do this will probably be to pour it into something and then put the cubes in. So, right. well, let me grab something down here. You've already got something. Yay. There goes one. That one's yours. I'll just put it in the sink. <laughs> You'll have a coffee cube. All right, so I'm going <clears> to <throat> add probably about six of these. Okay. And the amount that your container will hold will okay. probably be a good uh, way to measure. Now, I'm going to let you pour in two cups of the almond milk. Yes. All right. I can do this because this is one cup, I'm assuming. Yes, it is. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we need three and a half 
tablespoons. Oh. All right, so the, I poured uh, it here. Yes, ma'am. Oh, Dump it right in I'm there. I'm not a steady hand. <laughs> So I don't want you to be Perfect. mad at me for messing up the I recipe. I spill stuff all the time. It's fine. And you're like, what happened? So again, three and a half of the sugar. Okay. Yes. It looks good. All right. And then we need some chocolate syrup, which is, it says to do three and a half tablespoons of the chocolate syrup. Okay. And I'm going to guess. Okay. One, you two, can't never have too three, much chocolate now. And a half. There you go. <laughs> oh wow, it's really happening. Yes, it's really happening. Now this is gonna be nice and sweet. This is a dessert drink, not something you want to drink all the time. All right, here we go. Yeah. That's about 15 seconds. We can check it to see what consistency we have. Which one are we looking for? Nice and smooth. All right. Oh, that might be it. Yeah. Uh-oh. Nice. Now, if you want yours a little more, uh, a little more texture, you can add more of the ice. Got you. And less of the almond milk. Okay. This is gonna be nice and easy to drink. And we can add a little bit of whipped cream on Ooh, top. Okay, we're just if going you all please. in. Would you like some? I'll try it, yeah. Why not, right? We gonna... Nice whipped topping there. All right. all right, so what happens now? Now we drink it. Oh, it's ready. It's ready, cheers. Okay. Delightful. <laughs> I love coffee, so this is amazing. She's not as much of a coffee fan. I am not, but actually, seriously, this actually has a really good taste to it. It really does. I have had ice mochas at McDonald's, mm -hmm. and this is as good. So you can do this at home. You can make your own at home and save sixteen dollars or know, whatever they I mean, charge. I, that's really. I mean, seriously. Yeah. I, it, yeah. Sweet. So we've got a great drink to go with our falafel. When we come oh. back, we're gonna get the falafel out of the refrigerator. We're gonna roll it into the, the bite-sized balls. We're gonna fry it up and we'll be ready to eat. Coffee, falafel, what can go wrong? I know, this is a <laughs> Middle Eastern treat. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we're gonna get hopped up on caffeine and talk about keep Douglas County That's beautiful. That's right, we're always pumped to keep <laughs> Douglas County beautiful, That's clean right. and sustainable. We'll see you in just a sec. <laughs> We're back. We're ready to kick off this falafel I'm so recipe. I'm excited about the falafels. We're gonna fry them up. We got the oil heating up right now. All right. Uh, we've got our falafel dough out of the refrigerator. Now, while we're waiting for the oil to heat up, we're gonna mm -hmm. make a dipping sauce right. for the falafel. Let's do it. Um, and feel free to uh, partake in your frappe. I am because this frappe is frappelicious. Mmm. <laughs> Okay. We're just making up words now. Yeah. Okay. What did you did you put any Irish cream in there? I did not. Okay. Good. Yes. Uh, so what we're gonna do to make this paste, this uh, dipping sauce, is the main ingredient is tahini, mm -hmm. which is made from ground sesame seeds. Yes. All I right. like that name actually, yeah. tahini. That tahini. would be a cute kid's name. All right. So if you will, pour uh, a cup into there and then we can put it in our food processor. Yum, yum. I think we're... Sesame seed oil, well, sesame no tahini. Oh, Pour that oh, right in no. there. You trusted me to put it in the mixer oh, yeah. now. Yeah. I, my true level of trust has moved up yeah. since I started, okay. You made it. You made it, all right. All right, and then we're gonna add uh, a little bit, uh, it says three cloves of garlic and you got to use these it's much easier. Yeah, much easier. I learned that the hard way. And a half a teaspoon is one clove. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do three of these. All right. And we need to add some lemon juice. Can I please do this part? Yes, I'm absolutely. So I've never used one of these before. 
They're awesome. So Let me get a knife to cut the lemon oh, in half. I was just gonna put it in there. Now the way to use one of these, mm -hmm. some people get it wrong. Yeah, I'm gonna get it wrong. Okay, so I'm gonna let you do it the way you think you okay. should do it, and then I'm gonna correct you. Well, I thought I should put the whole lemon in there, so I was already yeah, off so base. Yeah, so strike one. All right. Uh, which way should we cut it? I'm gonna go with this way. Strike two. Okay. Well, I uh, thought it was the other way was too obvious, <laughs> so that's what made me go with, okay. All right, so get that ready to put in there. Come on, Tiffany. Strike three, you're out. No, okay. okay. <laughs> All right. Well, see, now a lot of a, well, a lot of people want to put it in that way. Okay, that's wrong because the juice has the to go. juice. It's much better uh, if you turn it over like that. Okay. And then squeeze it like wow. that. Wow. Okay. Where are we putting it at? Right in here. All right. Now it's gonna squirt. Okay. Oh wow! It's a lot easier than I thought. Yeah. And once you yeah once you get it pushed together like that, it's it's I'm really easy. I'm getting one of these today. Yes. They have smaller ones too that you can use for limes. Bigger ones for oranges. Wow, I may get the trifecta. That's, I think you got all of it out of that one. All right. All right, so we'll swap it out okay. with this half. And we'll just use one lemon, which is about a quarter a cup of uh, lemon juice. All right. Well, You're getting your workout today. I know, I'm like, your forearms are gonna be sore. I know, I just squeeze lemons for a living. <laughs> yes! <laughs> see, what she did was she tested the oil yes. to see if it was ready, I'm, and it does sound like it's I'm almost ready. Disasters. I'm gonna turn it down just a little bit. I'm sorry, TJ. No, it's me. perfect. All right. All Put right, and then I'm gonna add a little bit of salt. All right. Now, some tahini is thick. Okay. Okay, so this tahini is not. This is more creamy. Mm -hmm. um, it, it's kind of thinned out okay. a little bit. So the recipe calls for uh, using a food processor and adding lukewarm water to okay. kind of thin it out that gotcha. way. But since this is already pretty creamy, we're not gonna have to add any water right now. Okay. So we're gonna turn this on, get everything mixed up. And so we are gonna have to add some water because apparently tahini, when it's put in a food processor, Ooh. gets <laughs> thick. Yeah, it's, it's a little thick, but. So what we're gonna do, it does call for three quarters okay. of a cup of lukewarm water. Okay. So I've got a cup here. I'm gonna use almost all of it. Yeah, there you go. And we will thin that out. Go tahini. There we go. I smell the grease getting in. Oh, yeah. I'm just going to dip yeah, it in. You got to taste it. It's perfect. All right, where'd it go? It is perfect. It tastes uh, almost peanut buttery. Okay. Pour that into our bowl. We got plenty of dipping sauce. Yay, or plenty for of falafel. Us. falafel. All right. It feels so New York. Throw this like over here. New York doing yeah. This is like not southern food. It's so. multicultural. That's right. Thanks. All right. So I'm going to move some of this stuff out of the way. All right. So we can roll up some falafel. I've been waiting for this part. Get this out of the way. All right. So we're just going to reach in here. And grab some and, salt. Yep. We're going to just get a, a nice pinch. Right. Squeeze it together. Add a little more of that. Mine isn't working out, TJ. Yeah, you just gotta squeeze it together. The recipe says that it, it, it may be a little loose, but once you get mm, it in here okay. to fry, okay, I got it'll you. it'll hold together. All right, so that's well. about what we want it to okay. look like. Well I'm gonna have to roll Ooh, be careful now. I'm gonna that's have to roll her. Good. Okay, I think I've got a nice yes, perfect. one ready to go. You want to place it in there or you want I'm me not, to do it? Yeah, I'll <laughs> let you do that. I'm not a big place. Oh, Whoop. well, okay, we're going to do another falafel <laughs> ball. If it doesn't hold together uh, well enough for you at home, you can add a little bit of flour. Oh, yeah. Um, you can add baking soda right before you put it in the refrigerator, and that'll help as well. 
Mm. You just gotta squeeze it down. There you go. I'm making my squeezing face. Okay. Oh, yeah. Now I feel it's gonna yep. stick. It's gonna stick this time, TJ. Yeah. It'll All come right. Together. I'm gonna be brave. Okay. <sighs> Put one in there. Okay. Falafels. Yes. And we're making these over uh, a cutting board. That way, we're reserving the stuff that we yeah. don't hold on to. We can make more. Yes. All right, I'm gonna let you off the hook. Okay, I can stop making falafel. This, this can be your last one. Oh, thank you. And then I want you to tell us about some of the events that you have done okay. with Keep Douglas County Beautiful. Well, I know how to do and that. And some of the things that you guys are planning on doing. All right, so here's my last falafel. Yes. So, well, so we got our affiliation back in April of uh, 2018, April 30th to be exact. Mm -hmm. And we started off kind of hitting the ground running. We started off with the Great American Cleanup, which is one of um, Keep America Beautiful signature programs that typically happens in the spring. So we wanted, we were on the tail end of the time frame for that program, but we wanted to do something to kind of kick off. So we got with um, our Parks and Recs Department and went to Dog River Park, mm -hmm. and we helped them prepare their new um, trailheads for the new disc golf um, course out at the park. Mm -hmm. And we um, did a lot of landscaping. We put out mulch. We cleaned up. And so it was a really great first project for um, Keep Douglas County Beautiful. From there, we actually teamed up with our Department of Communications for the Great Douglas County Shredding event, and that was a wonderful event. Um, tons and tons of people came out from all over Douglas County to bring their things to be shredded. And if I'm not mistaken, I think we collected about 13.45 tons yeah, of stuff. And so that was exciting. And our, our, our um, volunteers and board members were there to assist the communications department. We also gave out information to people about covering their loads. One of the biggest problems we have in Douglas County are things on our side of our roads from people not actually securing or covering their loads. Mm -hmm. So that was part of that campaign to get people to, to, to cover their loads. Um, and then after that, we had a really great um, joint event with Keep Douglasville Beautiful, um, which was, spe this was actually spearheaded by the chairman, Dr. Ramona Jackson Jones, and the mayor of Douglasville, uh, um, Rochelle Robinson. And we had a joint cleanup at the um, Arbor Place small it was kind of a thing to kind of show that we were committed to the community and we got a lot of there were Boy Scout troops groups that came out to actually just have a day of service to kind of show our commitment and our, our joint work it was our first project joint working together so it was really great and then in September we had an event called um, Rivers Alive which is a national event that people do all over the country and we teamed up with WSA and the Master Gardeners Club for that event and we actually um, a lot of people don't know there's this really beautiful area behind the courthouse that has like a stream there's an outdoor classroom and it's actually maintained by the Douglas County Master Gardeners but it's a beautiful area and we actually went out and did some cleanup and some beautification of that area and that was a um, really great success for uh, Keep Douglas County Beautiful and then we also in November did America Recycles Day, which is really great because we gave out information at the courthouse for people on how to recycle, some tools, some resources, some things that you could do to actually uh, get into recycling in our community. So we've had a lot of great events in 2018. And then we started off 2019 with uh, Bring One for the Chipper, which is actually another um, event that's done by Keep America Beautiful, but most importantly, Keep Georgia Beautiful and um, people can bring their old Christmas trees. So Keep Douglas County Beautiful teamed up with the Home Depot on Thornton Road and also with our Landfill Recycling Center and people could donate their, I mean, bring their old Christmas trees and they got seeds, packages of seeds to plant new um, trees and things of that nature. And then our last event that we just recently had was for Arbor Day. Georgia celebrates Arbor Day on the 15th of February and we actually gave out river birch tree seedlings to people who wanted to plant seeds for Arbor Day. So we were able to give those out to the community. And we are also right now doing a push for our, um, for our um, battery program. So people, your clocks actually spring forward this weekend. And uh, so we are giving out batteries. This is a good time to remind everybody to replace their batteries. Mm -hmm. And then the last. She's a wanted woman. And then the last um, event that we have going on right now is March is uh, 
Arts, Cult, Arts and Culture and Humanities Month in Douglas County. And part of the month, Keep Douglas County Beautiful is doing a What's Beautiful to You contest, which is actually a national thing for Keep America Beautiful. Um, and we are wanting people to submit pictures or or uh, photographs or artwork that's beautiful to them. It could be anything, whatever is beautiful to you. It could be your dog, it could be a stream, it could be whatever. And we're gonna pick a winner, and that winner will be announced at the um, Douglas County Arts, Culture, and Humanities Celebration Forum on March 21st. Awesome. So we are excited about all the things that we're doing in the community. We're coming up on our one year anniversary, so we're really excited that we've been able to make it through the year. We were actually just awarded two great honors. One of those honors was the Governor's Circle um, Award that you received from the governor for being an outstanding beautification um, program in the state. And we also received the President's Award from Keep America Beautiful back in February for our commitment to keeping our beautiful um, our community clean, beautiful, and sustainable. So we're, we're doing great things. We have tons of volunteers. We're really excited about it, and we just hope to be a just a really intricate part of the Douglas County community, keeping it clean, keeping it beautiful, and a, a resource, a place for people to go. One of the things that we're gonna start is, if you wanna clean up your community, we're gonna start loaning you out you know, the materials to do that. So you can go out and organize your own community, your own neighborhood to clean up, and, um, and just really be an intricate part and just help people understand that we have to keep Douglas County beautiful. You know, as this county continues to grow, we are in the metro Atlanta area. We're expecting, you know, more people to move this way. We wanna have that infrastructure in place so that when people come to Douglas County, when they come to our mall, when they come to visit our restaurants, when they come to visit our beautiful downtown area, we want them to know that um, not only is there Keep Douglasville beautiful, but there's also Keep Douglas County beautiful and we are actually the, you know, the driving forces behind, um, you know, just keeping our, our, our county sustainable. So it's been a great uh, year. It's been a great partnership with Keep Douglasville Beautiful and Keep Georgia Beautiful and Keep America Beautiful. And we're just excited to continue this. And um, like I said, some of the most rewarding work that I've ever done. That's great. Did you, uh, did you ever get in trouble in school for talking a lot? I got in trouble for, in school for talking all my life. <laughs> I never got in trouble for anything else but just talk on the bus. But you know what? It, it makes my life easy because <laughs> I don't have to ask any questions. I mean, you cover everything yeah. that, that I wanted to even talk about. Oh, I'm happy, but yes, I have always gotten in trouble for talking. And I, no one has ever <laughs> accused me of not being a talker. So I do love to talk. I have to say that all the time and sometimes too much. And according to my husband, I like to talk about everything. <laughs> so. Now, and now I, do, I do have a question. Yes. Um, if people want to get involved, they're they're uh, they're now you've you've inspired mm -hmm. them. They they yes. want to help out. How do they do that? Well, there are a lot of different ways. Well, the first way is by going to our website, keepdouglascountybeautiful.com, and there's actually a form on there where you can sign up to get information about. Um, how you can get involved. There are, um, when you go on there, all the upcoming events, you, you just click a button and you pick the one you want and it's volunteer. Um, so that's just one of the easiest ways to get in, in contact with uh, Keep Douglas County Beautiful. I have an excellent um, coordinator for the program, Ms. Tabria Cobb. She is, um, our, your, is your first line of defense or your first person that you would talk to regarding Keep Douglas County Beautiful and she can be reached at Douglas County. Um, her phone number is 770-920-7593. Or she can be also reached at Tabria Cobb at co.douglas.ga.us. But if you go on the website, all of the information is on there. Uh, we have a wonderful board. Our chairman, um, Rita Fasina Thomas, is, our, has, is the first chairman of Keep Douglas County Beautiful. And she's really been leading the board and been a great source. So you can get in contact with us on our Facebook page. We have a great Facebook page. We try to keep everyone updated with um, with everything that's going on. So if you want to constantly see what's going on with Keep Douglas County Beautiful, that's a great place as well. But you can also contact me. And my phone number is 770-920-7436. And my email is tstewartstanley at co.douglas.ga.us. So we want you to get involved. Please contact us. Go on the Facebook page. Go, go to the website. Give us a call anytime. We will find a way to put you to work to help keep Douglas County beautiful, clean, and sustainable. That's fantastic. Uh, yeah, a lot of numbers to remember. Yes. We got them all. We had them all down here. They'll also be at the end of the show. So yes. get your pen and paper. Be ready to write it down. Yes. Uh, and if you can't remember anything at all, 
remember DCTV23.com because you can just go there and watch this show again yeah. and just write it down. And that's always just such a great source for information exactly. in Douglas County. CelebrateDouglasCounty.com, yes. the county website, you can go there as well. Yes. We are frying these falafel up. It looks like they are very close to being done. And when we come back, we're going to taste. I'm excited. Falafel. All right, the falafel came out pretty good. Looks good. Um, some of them kind of came apart a little bit. They didn't hold together as well That's as they okay. could have. Uh, if I had to do it all over again, I might add a little more flour or the baking soda. Um, and what I would do is make patties out mm. of them. I would make the same amount yeah, probably, but, but smash it down. I think well, it would hold think together a little better. it looks great. It's, they look great. It, it looks amazing, so. You ready to taste? Yes. Let's I'm do excited. it. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna get this one. I got my eye on this okay. one. Okay, so do I dip it yeah. in there? All right. Dipping sauce. Mm. That's I like good. it. I like it. Mmm. I'm gonna tell you. This is really good. It is like fried hummus. Uh, yeah. This is really great. Mmm. Get mm. you some falafel in your life. Yeah. Mm. And it's really not that hard. I got falafel, I got a frappe, I'm just living the good life. Living it up. I've almost finished mine. I know. <laughs> this is a really good good thing. I was thirsty. Oh, we're going to finish up this falafel in just a second. Yep. But we got to end the show. Thank you so much for being Thank on, you Tiffany. Thank me. So much fun. You were you were a lot of help in the kitchen too. I can't believe it because really I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> we'll definitely have to show this to your husband. Yes, he's he'll not gonna never, believe he'll never it. believe it. Exhibit A. So if uh, people want to get in touch with you guys, what's the best way, you know, if they want to volunteer? Sure. Um, first I would do keepdouglascountybeautiful.com or our Facebook page, which is just keep Douglas County Beautiful. There you go. Get involved, yes. do something in your community that's going to help. That's what this show's all about. Thanks yes. for watching Servings Kitchen with a Cause, and we'll see you next month.